Well, hey y'all, I'm Mona. This is About Face with Mona. It's a channel geared towards living our second half as our best half. We talk about makeup, we talk about skincare, and we talk about lifestyle products. We talk about anything that's gonna make the second half of our life more enhanced. So, today's video I think is fun because as we have gone through the pandemic and as I've gotten older, and as my lifestyle has become more casual, I find that I don't want a lot of complex eye looks on the everyday. Most of the time, I just want a single shadow to sweep across my eye to add some dimension and to bring some brightness and to create a more polished look than no makeup at all, but I really don't want a lot of muss or fuss. And so I've gone through and I have picked my favorite shadows for that. You can use bronzer, you can use any single shadow you have for a one and done look. But these all have a little something extra or a little something special. As we say in New Orleans, a little lanyard. So if this sounds like something that you'd be interested in learning about, I'd appreciate it if you'd stick around because we're about to get right into it. You look so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they want to be yeah. And all the dudes are trying to score like So welcome. If you're new, I appreciate you stopping by and I hope that you find something that is valuable on this channel. If you do, maybe you would consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. And if you're returning, thank you for choosing to spend a little bit of your time with me today. I am also going to announce the winner to last week's giveaway in this video. But I'm pre-filming it so there will be a little editing Mona popping in. So I put them all in this little box. And I have two of the shades on my eyes today. We're going to start with one of my all-time favorites. And that is an OG. It's the Revlon Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow. This is in the color 725 and it is the shade Honey. You have probably seen and heard of these Revlon Color Stay eyeshadows and for good reason. I've actually put them in videos from way back. One of my very first videos had these shadows in it. They were darker. I've since then discovered the shade Honey. And normally I wouldn't buy a yellow eyeshadow, but this is a creamy formula. You put it down and it stays all day. It's drugstore affordable. What I like about this shadow, this color in particular, I love the formula and you can pick any shade that you like. There is a multitude of shades available. I like this shade because it provides a brightening to my eye. I can put this on my eye and you see that it's, it's bright. It doesn't accentuate my lines or my wrinkles. It's mature, eyelid, skin friendly. I'm not flipping you off there. And you put this on your eyelid and it really just opens your eye because it's so bright and it's so luminous. No glitter, no sparkle. It just, it's like sunshine on your eyes. And you can really create a more open, wide-eyed look with this color. And with my mature hooded drooping eyes, that's harder to do. So pulling this color in, I feel like when I'm walking around with this, that my eyes look brighter and they look more youthful. So again, you can find any color that you like, but this one is so good for that reason. I think this is a great shade for adding youth to anybody's look. And if you are younger and you just want a more dramatic look, layer this. It creates a little bit of a shimmer and a great base for your other products to hold them down and in place. And then you can take another shade of the same formula and layer it on top for a beautiful multi-dimensional look. We're gonna go into one of my other OGs. 
This is my second purchase of this shadow. This is Moon Dust by Urban Decay's formula, but it is in the shadow Lithium. Now they sell these in a bunch of beautiful shadow colors. All of them are multi-dimensional and make your eyes look like you have more than one shadow on them. It's a way to create a more complex look with one simple swipe on the lid. But there's something about this shade in particular. There's a pink one. There's, there's a couple of them that I really like. This is the one that I have repurchased. I hit pan on this and then I dropped it and the edges kind of crumbled and I actually went out and bought another one because I liked it so much. Look at this shift. This is a duochrome or trichrome. It picks up green. It flicks. It picks up flicks of champagne. And it also has that beautiful bronze undertone. Topi bronze undertone. It is just, you can see the dimensions. It is beautiful. So when you put this on your eye, you look like you have created a more complex look with one simple look. How do I apply one and dones? Because I have hooded eyes, I put them on my mobile lid and then I bring them up to my crease and then I go just slightly above. I don't hit the brow bone. I stop with that little bit of skin that I have above the brow bone. I don't hit there. I just go up and then I blend really good like along this portion. Ladies, tell me this isn't spectacular. I have the links to these products in the description in case you choose to purchase any. If you do purchase from my links, I do earn a small affiliate commission fee, so you don't have to use my links, but I think you should check out these colors. Okay, we're going to go into another favorite. These are by Dior. These are easy to find. You've probably seen them. These are the Mono Color Couture line. This is in the shade Beige Mitza Metallic. And again, they have different shades. This is my color story. I like neutrals with a little pop. I guess that would be the best way to describe it. So this comes with a little sponge tip applicator and I do use the sponge tip applicator more than you would imagine. I know we have all of these fancy newfound brushes these days, but back in my day when I was growing up way back in the dark ages, we actually used these little makeup applicators with the sponge tip all the time. We didn't really use brushes if you were just an everyday gal like I was. And they actually lay down your eyeshadow in a precise place with the little points I think they still do okay I do like my brushes and I have sort of migrated to brushes but I actually end up using this half the time when I open this little tub so let's look at this color I almost have the embossed CD worked off of this color I try to go around it just because it's so pretty that's silly I know So this is a little lighter, but again, special. It has the reflect. It has a taupey color with a shift again of like that champagne. There's a theme there too. I really like champagnes. You can find some of these colors with more gold tones. This one does have a little bit of a gold reflect, but I like a little bit of the champagne. This is a little bit of a cooler color. It is so pretty. It is not just simply grabbing a shade and putting it on my eyes. It brings something extra to the table, opens my eyes, provides a shift, provi provides dimension so that my eyes don't just look plain. I love this one, but any color that you choose is available. I'm sure you can find something that you like. Let's go to another one that I don't hear about quite as much. This is by MAC and these are purposely designed to be multi-dimensional. This is the color Havana. There's also a beautiful copper one that I have. I don't remember the shade name but it's a beautiful copper color and I tend to really like coppers. I tried to pick some of the shades that I felt like would be more universal for more of you ladies out there irregardless of eye color. 
So let's pull this in, these little pots. Very similar color, but a little bit darker, a little bit more brown. Take my watch off. Again, a little slight bit of reflect, not too much. This is less sparkly than the other two. So if you don't like a lot of sparkle and you like more of a matte, this is more of a matte with a little bit of dimension and a little bit of reflect. And it's a beautiful, beautiful feel to it. And it wears well. Every single one of them that I'm showing you all wear well and all look good on mature lids. We're going to talk about a liquid eyeshadow. This is by Natasha Denona. This is her chromium, this is her chromium liquid eyeshadows. These again, there are two left. That these were a limited edition, but two of them have stuck around. Uh, this green gold one and a red gold one, and the names are in the description along with the links. You can still get these on Amazon, and I found them on Ulta. So I have just ordered from Ulta the two backups of. The two that are still available, the red gold and this green, blue, gold shift. I wear this so much. This one is almost out. That's how much I wear this. I have this on today as a liner. I just swept it underneath my eye. It's also a good inner corner color. And it's also a great one and done color. Can you see the shifts? This makes it look like you have created a whole makeup look. I get so many compliments when I wear this every single time. I think it is beautiful. And one swipe on each lid. And again, I bring it up a little bit over the crease but not all the way up to the brow bone. Everybody knows, I am sure by now, about Charlotte Tilbury's Eyes to Mesmerize. I have her Eyes to Mesmerize formula on this eye in the color Oyster Pearl. And I think that it is beautiful just on its own. These are very mature skin friendly in my opinion. They are whipped, they are a little bit wetter. There is some dry down time. You can see how wet, whipped, creamy they are. You can pick any color you like. Again, there are so many shades to choose from. The formula is what's special. Now I have my favorites in the colors. This one is Copper Sunrise, and this might have been a limited edition one. They do come out with limited edition ones as well as ones that stay. I love the Pillow Talk one. I have the Walk of No Shame. Oyster Pearl is a permanent one. That's what's on my eye here. These are just so easy to apply with your fingers, and you can blend them out lighter the higher you get above your crease, and that creates some dimension, and then you can have a darker line on your actual eye and then without applying any more product you just lift it a little bit higher and shear it out a little bit as you go closer to your brow bone these are beautiful mature skin friendly shadows these have the least specialness about them when i say that the other ones are all multi-dimensional that i'm going to show you they really bring something to your eyes these don't really have such a multi-dimensional look I don't find they're just pretty and I love the formula I love that they don't crease I love that they stay all day and I love that they look good in my mature eyes and I like the color stories that they have to choose from I have more so plenty of them this uh, is the walk of no shame if you haven't seen that one this one is available Isn't that beautiful? That would be a beautiful spring color for sure and a beautiful summer color. 
Not that there are any rules in makeup and you can wear it anytime you want. And I do. Okay, we're going to go into one of my other real favorites. This one's a little pricey. This is by Chanel and it's the color Silver Pink. There are more colors available in this line. This is her Ombre Premier shadows. And the Silver Pink... This lasts you so long. I have been wearing this and using this for a couple of years. It has longevity. A lot of cream shadows would dry up in the pot. This does not dry up in the pot. This is a great one and done shadow. This is pink with some champagne reflect. It is simply stunning. I don't know that the camera can do it justice. Also gives you that brightness in your eye that I was talking about with the shade Honey. and kind of opens up my eye. And I do have it on this eye. So the Chanel and silver pink and Charlotte, and Charlotte Tilbury and Oyster Pearl with the liner from the One and Done Eyeshadow by Natasha. I'm just almost done with this and then we're going to get into the announcement of the winner. But I wanted to share kind of another OG and that's the Stila. This is not a liquid eyeshadow or cream eyeshadow video. This is about one and done looks that have something special. I think the Stila liquid eyeshadows with the shimmer really do have something special. Everybody probably has heard about Kitten. This is actually Kitten Kaleidoscope. They have this color and a lot of other colors you can choose from but the formula is really nice. If you want to have some shimmer and some shine, you have a special occasion and you really want to glitz it up, but you're not really into complex eyeshadow looks, you can use this on your lid and really have some pow, but no glitter transfer. You can have a sparkle without glitter all over your face. It's a more mature, friendly shimmer. If you really want a little bling, I think these Stila shadows are definitely perfect. And this Kitten Kaleidoscope does have the dimension and it has some shift. And I like it a little better than the lighter Just Plain Kitten, although that's pretty too. I'm just going to say Clarins is an underrated brand in my opinion. They have this ombre satin color in Purple Rain. They have other shades too. And I like these. They do tend to get a little dry in the pot and this one is starting to break up. I've had it probably for about three years. So they're better new, but I still do use this one from time to time just because I absolutely love this color. And you can see there's no chunking or flaking. I'm still getting a really good look with it. I guess you have a little flake right here. But I just blend that and I'm still wearing these and if you find them new I would say that these are absolutely beautiful. They look good on mature skin. I like this color in particular. They also have a light matte pink that I like that actually is available on Macy's right now that does cause my eyes to pop. And I like that one like I like the yellow one. So very pretty. Two honorable mentions. MAC paint pots. These are on sale at Macy's for like $15 right now. I don't know if they're going out of business with them or they're just on sale. I hope they're not going away because I use these to prime my eyelids for other makeup. This is in Painterly so you can see that it's just a flesh colored tone. These are creamy and emollient and if you have not tried these I think that you can consider them. You can use this as a one and done shadow and even in this flesh color sometimes I do because it just evens out my skin, covers my veins and it gives me just a light wash of color over my eyelids without being too much. It's that no makeup makeup look 
with the color painterly but there's also teals and bright colors and other colors that you can choose from and you can wear this as a one and done shadow i don't think that it adds dimension i don't think that it has that special shift factor what I think makes this special is just like the Charlotte Tilbury, it's the formula. It's the fact that it's smoothing on your eyelids, that it actually, I think mature eyelids look better with it on than with it off. They look smoother, they look more awake, no matter what shade you pick. Last but not least is just these poppers by Patrick Starr's One Size. If you are a glitter girl, which you can be a glitter girl at any age. Don't let anybody tell you different. You can pick up these. They come in a multitude of colors. And these are similar to the Stila, where your glitter and your liquid base is all mixed in one. So it's a one and done application. And you see how pretty these are. The difference is that these are more sparkly and they look like they have glitter flakes actually built in to them. And the Stila looks like they have glitter flakes, but the glitter doesn't pop out. These sometimes I'll have a little fallout of glitter underneath my eyes. It's nothing that's a lot, nothing that I can't just sweep away, but it's not as clean as the Stila formula. So this is the Stila formula. This is the Patrick Starr formula. And you do have the reflect. You do have the dimension with any one of these shades that you pick. So I hope you found this helpful. If you're a person who's just interested in getting some one and done shadows, you might have found one in here that piques your interest. One in here that you may feel like you want to use for the everyday. But I love all of them for different reasons. So we're going to get into the winter. Let's hop over. Okay, Editing Mona here. We are about to do the giveaway from last week's video. If you were kind enough to spend some time with me and watch that video and you left the comment crawfishing, you have been entered for the $100 gift certificate to Dermatology, not sponsored by them or YouTube, just by me. Your name should be here. Let's go through them so you can see who was entered and then we're going to use the pick a name pick a random name generator and choose the winner the winner will have until next Saturday to let me know that they accept their prize and if not I will do another random name here we go Congratulations, Piper Lee Brennan. She has been with me for a long time. Please let me know via email, monabaggett1 at gmail.com. If you are going to accept your prize, you have until next Saturday to do so. And then if not, it will go to the next person and we will do another random name generator. Back to the video. Thank you. Okay, that's it. Congratulations to the winner. You have until next Sunday's video to contact me. So by noon next Sunday. On that Sunday, I'll be putting up a collab video with Lady MC. You want to stick around for that. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you're still here, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and come see us next week because we have something that will benefit all of you ladies. Until next time, go out and live like now. She lives a double life, puts on a show. What's under the shadow smile, we'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa, everyone's 90.